Did they print it? I'll give. I'll let you know. Kirby Burke. Yeah, Kirby Burke. Yeah, yeah. There's oh, two yeah, Burks. You know him now, there's don't two Burks. There's two Burks out there. <laughs> you didn't know him, did you? <laughs> no, of course is I didn't. This yours with Milky Mark. No, there, there it is. Lovely letter. Who's it from? Sharon and Stuart Reese. Yep, and it's spelt <coughs> Reese. As the umpire holds the ball aloft to get this thing started, too busy about <laughs> self indulgence. They're up in sale, and it's Reese, by the way. And just speaking of the boy, he clears it out of the middle. Bouncing ball. St. Joey's into attack. Picked up by Tudor. Goes towards goal. In the goal square. McVilly for, for Newtown. Tries to bring it out and he puts it straight down Tudor's throat. So Cam Tudor to have a, a legitimate shot at goal. The other one was on the run. Reese. Reese, she said to pronounce it. Are acceptable. However, we tend to use a softer Reese. Yeah. The um, Interestingly, David Fawkes, captain of St. Joey's, told me this morning they call him Reese because of as Tudor comes in, doesn't quite make the distance and is fisted over on that occasion by Bill Laurie. <laughs> <laughs> to a rush behind. Coin Reese. Reese, because of um, Reese Holgren. Because when they say Reese, they both turn around. Ah. So McVilly comes out, finds Darcy Dement. Oh, no. Dement finds Hodgson. Great. Chips in. Oh, no, was a call from Josh Conway. Could see it coming, mate. Yeah. Chonky. Away you go, Tonka. He kicks. He kicks. Wide. The truck. <laughs> the big Tonka Sorry, toy. I'm just laughing at that. The Tonka. He kicks wide. Looks for Lockie Howe. Howe. He goes back to Hodgson. Hodgson kicks long, but oh, chipping kicks. in, and um, that's the McCorkle. new town. Um, Isn't it? No, it's Ash McCorkle. Yes. Yeah. I'm thinking Jared there. Ash goes on his right. Kicks it very wide, looking for a lead from Hocking. And Hocking takes it just inside the boundary. Hard to see from our vantage point. You can check the monitor. Up there, I know, Jim, but yeah. I'd like to see it live. Kicks <laughs> it in, and he finds Matty McMahon, is it? Yes, it is, mate. So Matty McMahon. Just had plastic surgery, Matty McMahon. What on? The lip. Goes back to Hocking. Hocking takes it. Wants to go. Oh, he's querying the umpire where, where um, Arnell was on the mark. Kicks long, and a good right. floating mark from Forbes. Just had a child. Couple of weeks back, I would have thought it was his partner that had the child. I don't think. I don't think he's created <laughs> he did, uh, world news. He did actually have a child. His partner had the child. He'd become a father. Yeah, that's better. So he's going to come in. New distance won't trouble him from here. This would nearly be his first game against Joey's. Um, against Newtown. No, against, against Joey's yeah, for against Newtown. He okay. hasn't. Probably is. His former club. Cause it's the first time they played him this year. Oh, well, he knows the ground. He should pop this straight through the middle. Doesn't make the distance. I said distance wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> missed, it, missed it was Corey on the boundary line and St Joseph's trying clear comes out to um, Carson Carson goes with his hands looking for, that looks like Atkins over there it's not though it's Burke is it mm -hmm. ridden into the ground the umpire says you're free in front of the AL Russell Pavilion <laughs> where are the uh, your mates Milky are they over there what do you call them the um, on ballers the on ballers yeah they're they in look at the they? fire's gone they're drinking cans that's where oh, Mick yeah, Wood's yeah. gone Mick Wood's gone over there Palioris crosses the goals finds Carson Carson chips it into the hands of Jack Thackeray Thackeray goes into Joey McCoola quickly hands on to his his mate Benny Capra Capra goes wide looking for Hanson but no good block there from Hanson and Hanks jumps up and takes the mark should be down at VFL Hanks stop talking like that because they're losing <laughs> <laughs> oh, goes in and finds Lockie Howe who Colling would have said will make sure he qualifies oh really yep how goes into full forward. Oh, good mark, good. I no, thought he marked that. Granted it. Younger eyes. Got a free kick in the end anyway, didn't he? Yep. And that's Kermond, Lukey Kermond. His parents listen all the time. I call him Kermor because he's French. Oh, <laughs> good, good, strong work there from the Joey's player. Couldn't quite make it out, but he kicked it on the full. It was Pelliuris. That's who it was. I thought it was. Did the old don't argue. It's going to be resulting free to Newtown. McVilly. He'll go in short and he'll look for Jai Sheen. It plays on immediately. Good chase from the um, his opponent, but picked off by Daniel Fury. Fury, Fury, very quick. Picked it off. He wants it back. Didn't the quite. Frenchman. He will get it eventually. In the, from a cork or goes back to Fury. Fury drives long. Who's he got this time competing? He's got Aaron Baxter. Probably get the free. No, no didn't it was get a it. netball whistle, was it? Yes. Lockie Howe tried to force his way through. Coming through as well was Zachary Morrison. Eventually it, it comes last out. last week. There's our man. It comes out to Reese. Reese gets the handball back to oh. Morrison. Mm. Morrison just 
coughed it up a little bit. Did a bit. And goes out, and it's going to be taken this time by Adam Healy. Healy drives it. He's looking forward. Lockie Howe's there. So is Corey. Oof. Corey and Capra go up. Oh. Comes to Lockie Howe. Oh, roving. Great no. tackle in the end from Seamus Hoare. Should have been a free kick there. Oh, I would have nearly paid the hole in the ball then. Should have been a free Should one earlier. Should have been a earlier. free kick against Corey. Yeah, against Corey sure. Carson. Yeah, so Carson's got it now at half back. Goes wide. Little chip kick. Finds Palioris. Biggest chest in the competition. Huge. Kieran Palioris puts it out. Laces out. Can't quite get there. Comes Good work there. McCorkle staging for a free. Doesn't get it. Ash gives it over to his teammate. That's Sheehan. Goes long, but it's Carson. Repelling everything at the moment. Oh, he's in good form. He's in good nick. He goes into Reese. Reese gets it on the bike. Centre half forward. Misses the target, though. McVilly mopping up everything back there equally as much as Carson. Game of defences at the moment. Comes into McMahon. McMahon goes to centre half forward. Lockie Howe's there. So, too. Watch for this man today. Danny Measures. Gives it over to Reese. Gives it over to Jackman. He'll go again. Over to Hodgson. Loves the big left foot bomb. Goes with that to the top of the square. Has he got anyone home? Tudor's there. It's fisted away from him. Ground ball. Picked up by McCorkle. He goes over to McVilly. McVilly. Over to his teammate. Who's that one? McFarlane. That's McFarlane. He's got... A, I don't think he's wearing number five, though. Yes. Is it? Comes back anyway. He comes no, over he's to... Not. He's not. To Tyler <laughs> George. Oh, that's what confused me. He, in turn, goes over to Dead Fury. Fury's it picked up by Forbes. Gets his first. And enjoys that. Let's the on-balls know about it, too. Yep. So he's so wearing 17. Yeah, Apologise. He's wearing 17. Yeah. That's what got me. We called him Seamus Orr a minute ago. Yes. Because he's not playing. Same as all. That's what happened. Well, that's the line through him. That's what's happened. Dane McFarland wearing 17. But the first goal on the board to Luke Forbes. And Newtown go to one goal straight six. Leading St. Joseph's one behind. And Corey playing forward tonks. Well, he kicked five the other week, didn't he? Yeah. He's kicked two bags of five this year, didn't he? Yeah, Corey? just interesting. I would have thought uh, against the... The top sides, he might have gone back and short up the fence, but maybe they're using it as a luxury and they'll take him back there later on. Sheehan, as we've seen earlier, does a lot of the ruck work in the centre bounce for Newtown. Gets up high, ball's in dispute. Comes out by Fury. Good, get going backwards, takes a mark. Zach Morrison's impressed me the last couple of times, this bloke. Goes very wide. Finds big Lockie Howe. Makes a massive difference to the St. Joey side. Yeah. Goes into centre half forward to McCooler. Good, strong mark. 50? <laughs> no, 50. A <laughs> bit of uh, nip and tuck there from both. Tyler George dragged him down. He pushed him over as well. Has to play on Joe. Goes with the right boot. Looking for Hanson. He's nudged out of it. Well done by the Kermond. Was? Yeah, it was good. Kerman, he he's takes some big scalps. Kerman, or Kamal. Goes out. It looks like McFarlane. McFarlane in turn goes to Sheehan. Jai Sheehan at half back. That is Jai Sheehan, isn't it? Thompson yep. would have corrected me if it wasn't. No, I would have. <laughs> goes out to Hocking, I reckon that is. He in turn then goes to Fury again. He's had plenty of it. Dishes off the handball. Ooh, downfield. No, the umpire had a good look at it. Going back, oh. Forbes. Got your hands full here, young uh, Jack Thackeray. Well, just got great separation then. He, his, uh, all his work was done before he marked the footy then. Just stuck uh, the two hands out against the chest and just got that little bit of separation which allowed him to take an easy mark in the end. Good kick. Help him a lot. Yeah, not sure about the matchup. Yeah, it's a bit of a worry, isn't it? Should kick this one. He'd be disappointed with that first kick. Going to drive that straight through every day. That's two goals to Luke Forbes. Going to be a, he's a handful. There's two goals straight to Newtown. One behind to St. Joey's. I'll be looking at that matchup, or it could be three. Yes. I'm just watching. Carson's gone to him already. Well, he's a very clever in the air, Luke Forbes. A lot cleverer than his height suggests. Yep. So now Thackeray's going. Who do, where do I go? Who have I got? I don't know about Carson. That's going to uh, Morrison's gone back to. Even Benny Capra. Been, I don't know. Hmm. Capra's on Corey. Carson's now gone to Forbes. Yep. Maybe a quick, bit quick for Carson, but we'll find out, won't we? Up we go. But, uh, Hovey is in the ruck now for St. Joey's. Up against Sheehan. Loose ball comes out wide. Joey's player paddling it forward. Can't quite pick him up at the moment. But uh, Hovey's actually been going along well for St. Joseph's as well. 
Well, umpires let it go here. Bit of pushing and shoving on the outer side. Not much. No, nah, nothing. Reese Hulkran amongst all of it. Oh. And they pay one now. Now he pulls out a softy. No, nah, it's a bad throw in. Not a good enough throw. Oh, it's, a, it's a lady boundary umpire over there. A bit harsh. Yes. Thrown in Sheehan versus Hobie Sheen just punches him forward and says, I'll take it. Dishes it out looking for Higgins. Higgins tries to get the handball for Newtown. Coming forward against Forbes on Carson. Carson just pushes him away. Comes to the bottom of the pack, but Forbes, as we said, might be a bit quick around the ground. Forbes looks for the leading in Hocking. Couldn't quite grab it. Good effort in the end. Comes out the back. Carson mops up. Goes back again and goes to Measures. Measures takes his time. Measures himself. <laughs> oh, in the back, you would Surely have thought. Surely that one. It was a yep. little bit obvious, that one. Unfortunate, but yeah. McVillie just pushed him too hard. And the free will go to... John O'Casey. John O'Casey. I forget him every week. You do, yeah. Casey goes to <laughs> Capra. And Capra just decides to kick it out of bounds. Joel Corey to Ned Kelly look alike. Yeah, the beard. The beard is not something you've ever jumped on board with. It's going to take me three years to grow that. <laughs> What do you think so far, James? You enjoying this? Yeah, no, it's not bad. It's interesting to see how it's been played between the 50s too. And the only schools that have come have been over the top. Yep. Matty McMahon. Wrapped up by David Forks. Couple of good mates there. Opposing. They're partners are best friends. Just thought you should know that. One of them's my daughter as well, so... You don't mention that very often. <laughs> no, comes, out, comes out the back to Higgins. Oh, good tackle. Yes. Great tackle by Lewis He's paid Hyland. a throw. And he's thrown a little elbow. You see that? No, nah, he's paid a throw. He um, threw an elbow back then and got Highland. Umpire Narch. Narch out. <laughs> Highland's letting Hovey know. Did, did Hovey throw the elbow, did he? Yeah, he's just thrown one back after the tackle. Uh, so David King takes the resulting free. Kicks it in short. He finds... Um, the old Ablett stat. Goes back to King. King looks for that leading Hanson. Oh, oh, in the end. Oh, is that Haynes? It is. What a great mark. I was going to say, you've got to be brave to jump in front of Rush Hanson. He's playing good footy at the moment. Don't be surprised. Yeah, you just you keep your hands off him. Get your hands off these blokes. down to the VFL, the old Haynes. He's playing really good footy. He's a goal kicker. He is a goal kicker and he's... There's nothing of him. What is he? Nah. Would he be 5'11", 5'10", he maybe? Yeah, he reads the play very well and he can kick goals. So I'd expect this to go through. Oh, no. no yes. You knew that was, yeah, was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you knew if we mentioned that, we are going to put the mods on him. Yeah. No, you're the only one that mentioned it. <laughs> Forks at the bottom of the pack there. Ball's in dispute. McVilly comes out to him, and then he crawls after it. But I reckon it's just rolled over the boundary line. Yeah, I wonder whether the, the clash jumpers are actually clashing more. Oh, I reckon they do clash more. <laughs> you see a lot of red out there. Yeah. Up they go. Tudor actually had the, the tap there. Comes down. Round the body on that occasion was Willis Flanders. As he... Oh, it's, hit the, it's gone out of bounds. He's overcooked it. Didn't quite make the distance. I think it rolled out of bounds. So it's going to be thrown in the pocket. Taken. Oh, oh well done. In good. the end, it was a great tap from Tudor. Sure, good roving by Joey McCool. It, it was a great moment. The only thing that went wrong is it went through for a point. Yeah, it deserved a goal. It did. So St. Joseph's get their second point on the board. They trail Newtown two goals straight, 12. So 10 points behind at the, at the round about the 14 minute mark. Yeah, that was, that's what uh, James's job was to work on the time. He just doesn't realise he's, he's, <laughs> that he's picked up yeah. that duty just yet. Where's the um, scoreboard with the time <laughs> clock? Yeah, it was like at Leopold. Yeah. So, so in the back line now for Newtown, it is Fury. Fury started this game quite well. Comes out to Sheen. Sheen plays on immediately McFarlane. They're running now. McFarlane's taken one. He'll take two. He's still clear. Takes three. He wants to try and dodge Polaris. He can't. He just steadies to steadies. He goes oh, now, takes oh, another one. Oh, takes another one. Bit of candy. Off, and he's got Hawking there. just short and in the end was well judged. I don't know about always just standing off like Polaris did then, but in the end, well done by McFarlane. Well, he did well. Just have a look at the tipping. Tonks, I'm coming last. Predictable. <laughs> and so... I won it last year. <laughs> so Hawking, when did you tip Monday? <laughs> Hawking comes in. He's got um, <coughs> Hovey on the mark. He's... Again, he's Forbes, a goal kicker. This bloke, yeah. Forbes had a shot from him and didn't make the distance, but he should make the distance quite comfortably, you'd think. Oh, sprayed it just to sprayed it a long way, yeah. and it's their first behind 2 1. 
13, leading St. Joseph's two behinds. 15 minute mark, first quarter. Get female goal umpire two down that end. What's wrong with you? I, I have <laughs> the I have the uh, the lurgy, mate. Unfortunately. No, you always getting into these female umpires. Nothing wrong with them. No, I'm just my state. <laughs> just stop it. <laughs> Ball comes out to Carson. Carson to Pelioris. Pelioris on the outer side now, trying to decide what to do. I love ladies. You know that. Pelioris dishes it over to Thackeray. Thackeray by hand. Gets it over to his teammate. Under pressure. They're still under pressure. Back to Pelioris. Then they've coughed it up. McMahon's picked it up. Drives Newtown forward again. Oh, good fist away by Benny Capra. Measures off one step. He's put it put Jackman under the pump, but a good fist away. Burke. McFarlane for Newtown. Picks it off. Goes back towards McMahon. Picked up by McCorkle. McCorkle's hands across to Fury. Fury's gone deep in the pocket. T. Higgins with Good those bloody defense. bright orange boots. Can't miss those orange boots. Thackeray, I think that was, got the ball out and over the boundary line. It was a great effort from Thackeray then. Really good effort. And Higgins not happy with it. We no, I'm sorry, it's Flanders. By the, by, we just saw the four. So it's going to be thrown in in front of the Russell Pavilion. Hope Sharon and um, Stephen. Was it Sharon and Stephen? R Stewart. Reese. Sharon and Stewart are listening. If not, if they're here, enjoying it. Hope Stewart's having a frothy. Well, they're, they're um, listening all the way from up in... Um, they're in Sale. Sale, yeah. Yep. Great part of the world. They don't say we're from Sale. They, they say we're for Sale. Do they? Get it? For no. Sale. Oh, Jesus. So the umpire pays holding the ball and the resulting free is going to go Newtown's way. There's oh, a little well, bit of feeling yeah. over there. Popped up. My little bit of... Polaris is not happy with some of his treatment. Good luck pushing him out of the way. Brock Bouch, is it with the footy? I think so. Yeah, you're not going to go for pushing him around, no, are you? His chest will repel you. <laughs> Gee, but look at the run-up. He's gone back. Malcolm <laughs> Marshall style. <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> Bouch. 2-1 plays two behinds. This, I'm suggesting, will make the distance. And I reckon, in fact, it's done better than make the distance. It's gone straight through the middle. 3-1 to Newtown. Bit of help from Joel Corey on the line there. That's good. Good use of the body, wasn't it? I'm giving it to Brock Bouch. Pretty sure it was him. That's him in the middle. Yep, Brock Bouch. Kick that goal. There's still a little bit of feeling yeah, around there. They're all getting into... Um, is that Jackman, is it? No, that's um, Danny Goodwin. Get no, over just, here. No, for Joey's, I meant. It's actually... Um, Timmy Arnell. Yeah, Timmy Arnell. They're probably been to school together than most of these kids. Ball goes forward again. Corey can't quite trap it. But oh, almost picking that up on that occasion was Adam Healy. Ooh. Ball comes out off the deck. Not quite. Carson steps back. Let's Jackman go for it. Ball spills out. Capra's Ooh. there. Rushed through. Oof. Could have been dangerous, that one that... I'm not sure who jumped across Corey's legs, but yeah. could have easily done some damage if uh, he's a bit um, bit more unlucky. Thank goodness he uh, nothing happened. Jackman, downfield. Downfield, flattened after he kicked it. So 3-2, Newtown, 20. They lead St. Joseph's two points. Good work. Late in the first quarter. Oh, he's put him under pressure, oh. Reese. Mum and Dad won't be happy about that. Fury, though, he lands a good tackle there, Reese. Ball's go, going in. Brock Bouch back there. Picks it up. Goes by hand across to Sheehan. Sheehan's got Fury here on his own. He ignores him. Goes to Hocking. Good takes mark. a mark right in front of us. Having the better of it at the moment, Newtown? They are. Not the best kick. Forbes is there. Oh, it just flies un, un, unneeded, really. Carson. Good mark in defence. He goes wide looking for Polaris. Polaris plays on immediately. Mm. He's got the lead. From Ooh. Hulkran, I think it was. Yeah, it was. Quite marked. Oh, good did smother. Well. And it's Oof. on the half forward flank here for Newtown. The players all jump on top, and the umpire says, Give it to me. Darcy Dement was a bit lucky there and thought he might have, could have got pinged. How yeah, we got rid of it. Mm, the umpire says, Give it to me, I'll ball it up. Not pay, they're not paying a lot, which is a good thing. Yeah, Lockie Howes there just gets the tap. Come straight down. It's hard to pick up who they are. It's actually yeah. quite hard with the jumpers. I'm yeah. There's a lot of red, isn't there? Yeah. 
don't know. Maybe a whole different colour might have been a good clash. Yeah. <laughs> clash. Believe them wear the same numbers of yellow as the umpires. The Metricon umpires. <laughs> so up goes... Is that Bogan versus... Yes, um, it is. Bogan versus Howe. First time we've, I've, I've noticed him. Yeah. So it's Bogan versus Howe now. It's just out of bounds. Run, run out of bounds again. So the umpire's going to throw it in. Three goals straight. The, the margin, 18 points. 3-2 place, two behinds. Howe wins this one. As they try to push forward, Corey's worked his way up into the midfield. Oh. Coming through beautifully, though, that time was... Reese again. Reese couldn't quite grab it. And Newtown fighting hard at the bottom of the pack. It's Jackman at the bottom now as well. Reese is still there. So is... A um, couple of others, and they just say, no, nah, look, give it to me. There's too many stacks on. Oh, a lot of feeling out there, boys. Yeah, still working each other out. No, it's going to be Howe again. He'll go up against Corey to come in there, but Bogan will go up. No one really won the tap, and again, it, someone's trying to push it through. That was Reese again. Yeah, Reese comes out to Hodgson's. Couldn't quite get it. Coming through his measures. Also, there was Baxter. But coming through, picking it up for South... Um, I nearly said South Army. <laughs> for Newtown was Tyler George. A little racehorse. And it was actually a, a really good goal. Yep. Yeah, a great finish. Yeah. yeah, attacked it with speed, didn't he? That's the thing that got him the footy in the end. Burst through. Yeah, the clean hands through there. It was a good pick-up. Mm. Excellent goal. They now go to 4-2, and they're controlling this game Absolutely now. Absolutely are. Yep. 4 2 26, and Joe's just two points, and yeah, they're, they're going to have to do something to stop this. First, um, all points go to Newtown for this first... Well, how long have we been going, James? Yeah, good question. Yeah, good question. Yeah, not good. 23. First debut is not good, is it? <laughs> Been going just, just over 20 minutes. Matty McMahon in the middle. Spins around. There's that netball whistle again to confuse everyone. Loose ball. Tyler George goes off the deck again. Benny Capra picks it up. Gets it. Well, did he handball? I'm not sure if he did, umpire. Comes out to Tyler George. Goes around the body. Does he get back-to-back -back goals? Hocking tries to keep it in, and we'll have a boundary throw in. Five metres around from the Newtown goal. They lead four goals, two to two behinds. 24-point margin. Ho-ho! A lot of pressure here for the Joey's back line. On ball is very quiet down there. The on ball haven't kicked in yet. No. <laughs> Pogan versus Howe. Howe taps it down. Right there, though, is McCorkle. Hasn't done too much yet, but he's just feeling himself around. He's on McCool up. Out of bounds. Forward pocket again. Same spot. We'll do it all again. Thrown in. Bogan versus Howe. Bogan probably won this one. Just pushed it straight out of bounds. Not on the full though, so no free. He's a big boy. Hanson, isn't he? He is a big boy. Apparently playing the premiership according to the boys here. Yeah. Might have to check that. 06. I'll, I'll was the call, wasn't it? look it up. Oh, he's going to yeah, Google it. That. Comes out the Forks. Forks. Forks goes wide to Polaris. They'll try and clear here. Polaris has uh -oh. got a lead in Flanders. Flanders couldn't quite pick it up, or does eventually, but a good tackle from Corey, and the umpire has paid it, rewarded the tackle. He didn't. He probably did have a slight chance prior. Yeah. So Corey just chops it to the top of the ski. He's got Bogan there. Only oh, one to fly, but couldn't almost. quite get it. Comes out to... Oh, Robinson. chopping the hands, he says. He's gone chopping the hands. So he's actually paid it to Bogan, and they're saying very good. 06 Premiership player. So Hanson, well done, boys. Had clarification. He did play in the 06 yeah. Premiership. They're strong on this um, panel here, aren't they? Yeah, they're good. The kids, they know. They maybe they know a little bit too much for they us. Don't miss much. <laughs> <laughs> now, the umpire, what? they're refusing to get the ball here or something. There's Polaris not letting Forbes pick it up, and eventually Bogan says, look, I'll just come in and get my own. I've got a charity free. Yep, I don't know there was a lot in that. He's going to shoot from 20 metres. Big angle, but 20 metres out, really. You should never miss there. Nah. I've been known to do it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spray him from there. <laughs> but he shouldn't miss that. He tried yeah, he his best, I it. thought. He did. Got oh, very oh. close to the man on the mark yeah. there, too. So didn't he does miss it, Bogan. And didn't look comfortable, did he? No. Yeah. no. Probably has it all it deserved, really. 4-3, 27 Newtown, they lead St. Joseph's two behinds. Benny Capra, interestingly kicking out. Measures normally does those duties. Comes out, Palouris gets the crumbs. Tries to crash his way through. Ball's in dispute. Right at the top of the 50. Been all Newtown. And getting up with that footy is Bill Laurie. Hasn't got quite the big schnoz like the other Bill Laurie, has he? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, big leap on that occasion by Justin Perkins. 
Come over the top, third man up. Balls at the top of the square. Come out to that man I just mentioned, Thanks, Justin Perkins. Minus score. Woof. They're hot. Joey's are holding on for dear life here. Those two go through. That is so demoralising going into quarter time. They've just got to hold on here for, you know, five or so minutes and just uh, quell this surgence by... Um, Obviously a four-goal win, Tom. Yeah. Newtown 4-4. Four, four. Joey's two behind. Newtown well on top here. First quarter at Drew Reserve. Ball's back over in front of that Russell Pavidian. Well, Perkins is locals. down. Another little blue over there. Perkins is down. He's grabbing his ankle. And the St. Joey's trainer first one there, which is always good. I love that when the opposition trainer runs out. And he's in a weird position, actually. Yeah, his uh, leg sort of he, hoisted he up could, a little bit. He could have a pretty bad injury here because he's in a really weird... He's in pain. I'm just looking at the screen here. But he's not just sitting like you would normally... Yeah. No attempt to get up by the he's looks trying. at this point. He's, he's trying. trying to move, but he's, I think he's in a bit of strife. The position he's in, and he hasn't really moved, so it's obviously some sort of lower... And they're still pushing and shoving the, the boys. Yeah, <laughs> no, most of what, I can see who it is. David Forks and, and Forbes. So. So not, not good see news there for um, Justin Perkins. They're trying to get him up. They are trying to get him up. He's it up. Appears he's it's definitely an ankle. Leg. I'm going lower. It's an ankle. My uh, medical background that I have. Could be knee as well. You reckon? Oh, it could be something. Surely, if it's knee, they'd stretch him off, wouldn't they? Well, if it's knee, you take a few more precautions. You yeah, would have yeah, would have thought so. Problem is, you don't, if you hurt your knee really badly, you're in pain for about a minute, then you're okay. Yeah. Don't know. I'm just wondering, are they, are they taking him through the interchange? Ball's back. Appear to be. Running up, Burt goes up, fists it for St. Joey's, goes to Forks, he dishes off the handball. Comes out to Capra, goes to Jackman. Jackman Ooh. cops one from Forbes. He's, he went back for a second go, Forbes. <laughs> Thought better of it. Burke gives it off to Reese. He's been, been in everything. Goes to Jono. Casey can't quite trap it. Trapping his what crashing his way through his lorry. Goes to Higgins. Those orange boots nearly match to Joey's jumper. Trying to get his way through on that occasion was the young Joey's player. Oh, they fisted out to Higgins. Retackle. Threw it away. Burke. Goes off the deck. Should go again, as he does. And rolls it over the boundary line. And it was... Uh, I was trying to work out who the... the it was Haints. Uh, Timmy Arnell. I thought it was a one and an eight, but it's uh, a four and an eight. Newtown by 26 points. Don't look like being doing anything else. Palioris crashes his way through to Reese. Reese gives it over to Forks. Forks hands intercepted by oh, Bill Laurie. And Laurie goes over to Fury. Reese keeps it in play, but it's Matty McMahon who chips in for Newtown. Little up and under kick. Thackeray goes back and takes a good defensive mark. For St. Joseph's. Oh, it's chopped off on that by Aaron Baxter. Palioris goes in and picks it up for Joey's. Bombs it long to full forward. Haints, I think, was a target. Ball in dispute. Picked up by McVilly. McVilly he just tries to... Does he drag it back in? He doesn't. Over the boundary line, rugby style. And we'll have a throw in. Up in the forward 50 for St. Joey's. They need to score. Need some scoreboard pressure here, Josh. They do. They've, well, Newtown have just controlled this whole game so far, really. Whoops. Punched the microphone. <laughs> just drag the footy in and then just laid on it. Umpire let him get away with it. It's, it's oh, yes, it's little Danny Goodwin. Oh, big, uh, he's, just Bogan just shoved his way through that one. Ball comes back. Matty McMahon tries to crash his way through. Loose ball. Fury, happy to see it over the line. So it's approaching quarter time here. 26 points. Oh, could gonna... be further in front. Absolutely, they could be. So really want to have a consider what's going on at, at quarter time. St. Joe's. I might have to make a couple of changes. McFarlane gets the kick oh, away. Just hacked it out of midair then, yeah. McFarlane. He does, and quarter time it is, 4-4. Four, four. Newtown, St. Joseph's two behinds, and goal kickers, James. Goal kickers, we got Forbes with two. Here you go, we got <laughs> George. Good work. Well. And uh, Bosch, is it? How do you say Bouch. that? Yeah. One. Bouch. Bouch. With yep. one. Well done, I didn't Well do done. Down. There you go. <laughs> Did well. Goal kickers for St. Joseph's, they haven't yet touched the... Um, no, they haven't got one. Either. No. 
Bell Park comfortably over West by four goals. Colac two goals. St Mary's yet to score. Lara seven points up on North Shore. South Bar Field mm. for those players. That's so the captain. The captain's not necessarily always the best player in the side. No, no, no. That's exactly right. Uh, now Tommy Atkins just went past. He's playing for tomorrow. Geelong tomorrow. That's Sandringham. Sandringham. Or down by the water. Down by the water. You're going to, you'll have a, will you have a swim first? I'll be swimming because the ground would be probably last time <laughs> was pretty wet. We played up there. It was actually coming. It come in. I think. Yeah, the tide come in. <laughs> yeah, on, on one half. Up we go again to start this second quarter. Yes, Sheen up again. He goes back and free, free kick. Goes to Joey McCoola. McCoola in the middle. Goes forward. Haints is the target. Fisted away. Reese is the roving. Hodgson goes in. Leaves the footy behind though. Sheen reaches in. It's hot in the kitchen. Reese over the top. Hands go across to Hulkren. Hulkren can't trap it. Comes out the back to Sheen. I don't think he got a hand on that. Hulkren leaves it behind. Taps it forward. Haints back to Casey. Reese. Reese's kick is smothered. Freary tries to get through. Pick gets it off to McCorkle. I think it's McCorkle. Goes around the body and finds Reese right in front of us. Play on, says the umpire. He goes with a little short kick into the path. Chipping in is Higgins with those bright orange boots. He's got... Oh, oh, no way. Got a real charity there. Come out to McFarlane. McFarlane. Bad decision, umpire. With Reese on that mark here. Don't we had McFarlane. a good view of that one, didn't we? There was no free kick there. So McFarlane kicks down, looking for Hocking. And then the full. Just hit Sneak the line. Hit the line. He might have hit the yeah. line. He, he's another one of your VFL boys. Ask him why he's wearing this wrong jumper, just to confuse us. Well, he probably just took the um, 17. He likes it better. <laughs> Don't know. Who knows? Might have been dirty blood on the first one. It's going to be thrown in. It's going to be Howe versus Sheehan. Sheehan wins this one just straight Oof. down. Comes out to Fury. Fury goes round on his left. Capra's in front of Corey this time. Corey tries to push his way through. So does Capra. Coming through, though, was McCorkle. Jared. Jared McCorkle. Corey off the ground. Under pressure again, St. Joseph's defence. They're trying hard to get it out of there. Coming through. Was that McCorkle? Yeah, again. again. Yep. McCorkle but went out to McMahon. Oh, you are kidding. Very Did you throw a boot at that? I no, it it's bounced. bounced. It's, just it's bounced. like an off break. It's done an absolute <laughs> leg So it's a Matty McMahon goal. It's a Matty McMahon. I think McMahon. that's bounced the whole way through. It's done a leg break in the pocket. Oh. <laughs> Shane want to be happy with yeah, it. Yeah, bowl chain. Bowl yeah. chain. Matty McMahon, we're going to credit him with the goal. Five goals for Newtown. St. Joseph's two behinds, and that's not what St. Joseph's Well, when needed. the luck's going for you, it <laughs> certainly yep. goes. That's just, uh, well, free. Might as it's over. Canadian. This game's over. This Ooh. is over. We might as well Cold pack up. Early. Yeah, might as well pack up. She's over. On balls for the last half. Yeah. Let's go down and have a can. <laughs> Call it from there. <laughs> yeah, hey, isn't that a bad idea, Josh? How Call versus Sheehan in the middle. Sheehan taps it down at the bottom of Fury. Fury McCoola's above him. McCoola grabs the ball, just puts it on his boot and forces it forward. Leading the race for the ball was Haints. Haints in front Oof. of Goodwin. Tackle in the end. McCoola followed up and got brought to the ground. He's going to play off the ball. Him. Here he is. He's in a good end up. Strong tackle. Is that Fury again? No, no, that time it was Diamond. Dement. And he's oh. flattened off the wall too. Goodwin's gone down. Who actually flattened him? He's carding he's him. He's carding him. Uh, Joey McCooler. McCooler's not happy yellow? about getting the hold yellow? of the ball. That was a yellow, yep. yep. He sent him off for flattening Goodwin. That's 15. Got him very Man short. With it too. Yeah, it was all head. That's uh, and that's not what's the joke. He's well reported well, him. So. He's writing it down. Yep. He's reported him. And I'd say the umpire's seen it. He could be in strife. He might mm. cop a week mm. for that. Sometimes you'd cop them if the umpire has actually seen it. Yeah, take the penalty straight after the game yeah. rather than go to tribunal and get four. Well, that's what I mean. The umpire, yeah. he was pretty strong. He's right there. And, he, and he, he was frustrated from the previous holding the ball, obviously. Yep. Not something that usually would be in his game, you wouldn't have thought. So Goodwin takes the resulting free. And Joseph's are going, St. Joseph's are going to struggle now. One man down. One man down and, and 32 points down. Start of the second quarter. And Ash Hansen has kicked six goals in every game he's played. Haven't, still haven't seen him kick a goal because they haven't seen any of those other games. <laughs> <laughs> Taken by Sheehan. Sheehan gets the handball back. He goes back to Diamond. Dement. No, oh, he said Diamond before. Dement. Dement. 
and out of bounds on the wing. St. Joseph's goalless, 34 Newtown, St. Joseph's two points. So where's the, there's the loose man, floating across half back, Ash McCorkle. Yep. Yep. Oh, Reese stripped of the footy and gone. They're looking good here, Newtown. They certainly are. The Louis Highland, that is, goes with the footy. Half forward, up they are. Oh, how should have taken that one. Didn't take, goes back, good enough to rove his own footy. Tries to dish it out. Comes out the back, good hands. Oh, if that was uh, Pelioris, he play on was the call. Gee whiz, if Higgins was high, that was high as well. Comes over, oh, big handball over the top from Capra. Just a blind handball. Comes back to Carson. Needs to hit a target, trying to hold on to the footy. No one leading for him. Good work there by good one. Good, good work by good one. He gives it over to his teammate in Baxter. Baxter finds his mate there in Brock Bouch. Bouch finds Laurie. Laurie at half forward. Little short kick. One, two grabs. Not enough, says the umpire. Ball at half back. Pelioris gets a boot on it. He's just found Bill Laurie. Laces out. Oh, Played on. Played on. Slipped over. Passes it off to Fury. Had a good season, Fury. He has, mate. Play on's a call. Goes into the pocket. Up goes Hocking. One grab. No, not enough. Carson tries to crash his way through. He's wrapped up. McCorkle's in there. So too Zach Morrison and we will have a ball up. Right in the forward pocket. 25 out from the Newtown goal. They lead. 5-4 to 2 points. And they're a man up. Look at the St. Joey's. Everyone's pushed forward. No one... Oh, great. Oh, he spun well. Great. No. That's a great goal from Jared McCorkle. He is a good player, Jared. Fantastic. He's had a very good second quarter. Oh, yeah, fantastic goal. Just read it well. Did the spin in the pocket. Kicked the goal. And they've, that's their sixth. They've now gone to 6 4 40. Yeah, I told you the game's over. It's getting ugly. Since Joseph's over. two behinds. And as we said, they've got to be off. How long is it? 15 minutes? Yep. Sometimes some sides play better with one man down. But the way the game's looking today, I don't know if St. Joseph's no, going to be one of them. Yeah. Just yeah. everything's going, uh, yeah. going against them at the moment. No luck at all. So it's going to go back in the middle. We've got Sheehan versus Howe. Make your own luck, Josh. Thrown up. <laughs> Have a look at the two, boy, two young boys. Got that little bit of bum fluff. Have a look at them. They've started <laughs> shaving yet, lads. Tried to win it. It's going to be... <laughs> wrapped up, they're calling for holding the ball, but nothing nothing there. No chance. Bottom of the pack gets up is for St. Joseph's at the bottom. Was that? Mm, Pelly sure. No, I think it was um, oh. Reese. So it's kick forward, and Luke Forbes takes a mark in a front of Carson. Diving mark, mate. Was a diving mark. Kicks oh. Oh, well oh, smothered by Carson. He follows it up, gets the handball quickly away to Arnell. Comes out eventually to Measures. Measures quiet. tries to go inboard and does. He finds his teammate in King, I think it was. Goes to Tudor. Tudor's oh, it's optimistic oh. kick. I think he mistook the colours then. Because he basically kicked a straight to McVilly. Yep. McVilly's kick. Good mark by on that occasion by Brock Bouch. Oh. Dishes off the handball to McFarlane, the racehorse. He goes at, oh, sells the candy, gives it over to Laurie. Laurie a little... Tried to be a little bit too cute with that, but it doesn't matter because the racehorse in Tyler George goes towards goal. I reckon he's got it. Just. Went over, Almost cleared does. some hands. It's his second. And that's their seventh. And, and you called it ugly at five, but it's starting to get no, she's terrific. Over. This is over, <laughs> mate. This is over. Not sure who, he, who George's opponent was then, but he got uh, drawn straight to the contest and mm. George just stayed exactly where he was, drew it out the back and ended up getting a little Joe the Goose over the top and finished well, but... Uh, yeah, as you said, Milky, this is uh, utter domination at the moment. 7 4 46, Newtown. St. Joseph's two behinds. I, I, I take responsibility. I tip Joey's. Well, there you go. Howe versus Sheehan back in the middle. On the bottom. <laughs> Neither one it. Comes out to the side to where Hodgson was standing. They go over it. Jumping on the bottom of the pack that time was, is it Hulk? No, it's King, I think. And the umpire <laughs> says, hang on. Give three, it out to of me. The three out of the five. Oh, he, oh. Oh. Laura's trying to oh. milk a free from Healy. Plays on. Kicks it long. Hanson's down there, but chipping in front. And actually, a good mark was Ash McCorkle. He's the spare. Yep. So it's pretty easy to do, I suppose, when you're a spare. Ash McCorkle kicking wide. Sheehan's out there. But good he, mark. He did. 
take a great mark going back with the flight was Willis Flanders. He comes into Tudor, and that was a great bit of That's play. That's the best bit of play for yeah. bloody 40 minutes. So Cam Tudor straight in front, 45 metres out if it's true. Not sure about the distance of the 50 here. Yeah, you've always said that, haven't you? Yep. So he's basically kicking from just inside. Doesn't look 50 from no, where he's kicking, does I it? I think it, it was it only about 40, so probably will make the distance. Kicks it, just pops it up, and... Jumps Hanson. Short. Oh, oh. Hanson dropped what he should have taken as a premiership player. <laughs> <laughs> you would have thought he would have gobbled that one up on the line. Didn't, and it's a behind to St. Joseph's. Comes out to Fury. He takes a mark at half back. Getting a call from McVilly. He ignores him. Decides to go to the other side of the ground. He's got McFarlane. He goes. Turns on the afterburners. Has a bounce. Just look at the pace of this boy. There's two. Decides to go back into the centre corridor. Gives it to Matty McMahon. McMahon goes wide in the lorry direction. Fisted away from him. So that Morrison got up. Didn't take the footy with him though. Comes out to Thackeray. Thackeray in turn across to Hulkran. Hulkran to Burke. Burke across to the running forks. Tries to crash his way through. Leaves the footy behind though. Some Joey's player dispossessed. The umpire was going to blow the whistle. Then he says, play on. Free, free, free kick. kick. Too high. Free kick against Polaris, I think it was. Fury's got it. He's playing well. 7 4 46, Newtown. Three behind St. Joseph's. Oh, just let to Adam Healy just takes the mark almost uncontested. Forbes comes over the back trying to take a big grab. Doesn't Leaves it behind as well. Lindsay Thomas style. <laughs> Going yeah. up and tried to get Yeah, that was, that was a good mark, wasn't it, last night? <laughs> That the only thing North did right. <laughs> so 43 points. Newtown lead this one. Poof. Joey still haven't kicked a goal. No. And still don't look like it. No, nah, because it's at the wrong end of the ground. Trying to crash his way through his measures. As I said, he's been very quiet. He's been dominating week after week after week. Comes out. Loose ball. Across. Okay, that's Palioris. His kick tumbles forward over the boundary line. Middle of the ground. I'm not sure how long of that 15's gone, but I would have suggested only be about five of it. So they're still only playing. As we said, Joseph McCool has been sent off here, reported. Oh, so they're that... playing with 17 men, St. Joseph's. Gee, Timmy Arnell, I reckon that is at the bottom, that just went to ground as soon as he dragged the footy in and looked up waiting for a, a free kick for the umpire, and it didn't happen. Hovey tries to get around his opponent there in Sheehan. Ball tumbled forward. Good work there from Goodwin. He's got the job on Haints. So he can take one good mark, but that's about all. Their matchups have been really good, Newtowns. Yes, they have. Sheen's still rucking, by the way. Sheen started the quarter with... He hasn't come off. Often they change. He started with... Um, what's oh. that? Bogan. Sometimes you would have thought might have come on. The extra man helping him out there, down back for Newtown. Umpire, Bander umpire, he must have stepped over the line. Goodwin when he tried to clear that footy. And the, the locals have let him know. No, actually, that's a Newtown pocket, so they probably wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> 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 Up there's over the Bogan. top. Oh, there's Bogan. Hodgson. I'm not saying Hodgson is a Bogan. Comes out the back. Gee whiz, Darren Baxter. Then ditches it. Oh, oh Fury! I don't think up. there was anything in that. There wasn't. No. Well, wow, just, just a two good going at the footy there. Yeah. yeah. And they know that. Even Goodwin has just, just decided to say nothing. Capra! Oh, he, I heard a whistle then. Yeah, it wasn't oh, a was a bit quick there. It's McFarlane. McFarlane. Goes left. Goes to I just Bill heard Lurie. a Joey's play yell out, you blew the whistle. <laughs> Laurie goes back to McFarlane. He's playing a good quarter, McFarlane. Yep. Comes out. Impressive. He's going to back here and he does. McFarlane, he'll take another bounce. He's had a few He's going to go all the way. He's going to surely. Someone has to come to him, surely. Oh, the <laughs> candy! That was the, that was the candy. and oh. just goes to the pocket. I don't know if he meant to kick it to the pocket. <laughs> oh. I don't know if he saw Joel Corey there. I'll give him the he benefit of the doubt. Of it. <laughs> but he he's kicked it straight down Joel Corey's throat. And Joel Corey now is going to line up for goal from the pocket. Tight, tight. Him, you watch him come out. That's the one he doesn't do the Stevie J stuff. I think he is. He is. Oh, there he no, goes. He's going to do the little spin around he did. He's overcooked it. No, he's, he's not as good as Stevie yeah. J. At that. <laughs> Please, Joel. That, stick to basic. <laughs> <coughs> and it's gone through for behind. And Newtown, seven... Five now, 47 leading St. Joseph's, three behinds, three. Measures kicked it to himself. That's two on one here. Newtown's favour for the kick out. Comes back there. Laurie tries to crash his way through. Morrison has to get around. Oh, there's Bogan. He's he's uh, 
attempted handball didn't go anywhere. Matty McMahon's in there. He's wrapped up in a tackle. They're all looking towards the umpire, and they can't find him. Not, not happy. Sea of red. Yeah. yeah. They weren't happy then. As we said, Bogan has gone the ruck. Um, Sheen's having a break. Gone out to kick quickly by Bausch. Bausch goes forward, but a good intercepting mark by St. Joseph's there in... Timmy Burke. Timmy Burke, yeah, yep, Timmy. Little Burke. So Tim Burke. He's the reason Reese is at the club, apparently. Is that right? Yep. So Tim Burke plays on, goes to the one-on-one -on -one contest. Not really not really the greatest kick, I wouldn't have thought. It's gone. It's coming straight back. Oh, and Oh, oh drop what he should have taken, Jai Sheehan. Got a little reprieve oh, yeah, there, yeah. St. Joseph. Oh, so that Hobie. was very lucky. Yep, very lucky. So Josh Hovey's got the mark. Half-back flank. St. Joseph's. He's going to kick long for the leading hand. Hanson. Stepping in and a good effort from Dave McVilly. Plays on immediately. Tries to just invent a handball, really. It's kicked around the corner by uh, Higgins. Goes forward. Bogan's there. So is Capra at the bottom of the pack. Tries to pick it up. Just throw it out in the end. Reese is there from all the way from Sale, but no, it's gone out of bounds. 7-5 <laughs> plays three behinds. Been playing 15 and a half, Milky. So McCool. Oh, hello. He's jumped on board. Look at he's got the stopwatch going. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, <laughs> the boy stepped up. What time did McCool go off? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, not too good for good. me. Yeah, that's it. Oh, gee, ch crashing his way through. There's Louis Highland. Goes wide with the kick, though, and it goes over the boundary line. We'll have a throw in. Well, if we don't been going 15, I reckon probably the, might happen maybe eight minutes ago. I would have thought. Yep. So, so half forward, half forward flank for Newtown here. It's going to be thrown in. We've got Sheehan. He's going to go up here against Hovey. Just wins a quick tap down in front of him. Goes to Higgins. Higgins tried to force oh. his way through. Got smothered well by St. Joseph's. Picked up by Hovey. Followed it on. Higgins again. Goes backwards. Finds little Healy. Healy chips it around. A good mark from Carson. Just outbodied Forbes there. Read it a bit better. And they'll clear St. Joseph's uh -oh. down the wing. It's two on one here, though. Oh, no, two on one. Yep. Yeah, just a bit optimistic. Uh, yep, two on just, one. That's yeah, terrible. Tyler George got it now. Kicks it inboard and a good lead and good mark. And McCorkle. I think that's McCorkle yeah, over there. It is. And he can kick a footy. Yes, he is. That was a really poor kick, two on one. Strange, and the, and the right one was Haints. <laughs> just the smaller. He's not a... He's not a He's not a ruckman like you, like the size of Hanson out here. He's not a bloke that size. I haven't been um, that, com what do you call it, lucky, but I'm going to say kick this goal. Normally I'll put the moz on him. Yeah. But he's a good kick for goal, Jeremy McCorkle. Goal umpire just comes running out the footy and says that's another one. He is a good kick for it's goal. His second, We've yes. got one right for yeah. once. They're going to 8-5 now, and she's looking now. This really is uh, this is slapping. 8-5, 53. They're now 50 points up over St. Joseph's, three points. Well, the Addy have got it right. They sent their reporters to North Shore and Lara. It's a two-point game there. Well, there you go. <laughs> and it's seven, 17 minutes gone, is it? Yep. South oh. Bowen trail by 14 points. So that's the, that's the other game of interest. As we're waiting for... They're still playing with 17. They're waiting to get their 18th man, Jason McCooler, back on the ground. Oh, bad time to fall over there on oh, that on occasion. The From Flanders. Ball's fisted over. Capra. The hands again. Back to Bertie Jackman. He'll use that left foot of his. Goes very wide. Got plenty of time here. Finds Lockie Howe. He's at half back. Chips it in to Measures. Measures goes very wide. Got plenty there. So Flanders gets it. Has a bounce. Then steadies. Goes deep to Hanson. Or gets his dukes on it. Palioris is there. He's got around one, but he's got McFarlane to get away from. Hands across to Matty McMahon. He in turn's tackled by Hulkgren. Oh, Holding the man is the call. And uh, they're all giving uh, Ash Hanson a bit of love there. Ball's kicked away by Matty McMahon into oh, the middle. Finds Bill Laurie. Laurie chased by Tudor. Manages to get it on the boot, though. Capra traps it for St. Joey's. He's got Thackeray wide. Two on one. A good work, work off the body there by Flanders. Goes to half forward. Ash is a call. Ash doing a great job. Dement. Not Dement. Uh, come on. Come on. Gets it back. Little stab kick goes over to Fury. Fury's at half back. Goes long. Carson has Forbes to beat. Gets it on the second attempt. Then gets tackled. Tries for the free kick. Morrison across to Jackman. Over to Forks. 
Forks needs to set something up here. Goes very wide. He's gone out wide to Burke. Burke needs a kind bounce. He gets it. Dishes off the handball to Forks. Kept running. Goes again. Puts it out in front of and finds. Haints. Haints. Gee whiz. They worked hard for it. They did well. I know. He's getting frustrated now, Big Hanson. He was, he's had a few opportunities to take a couple of grabs and they've all been all over him. So they're all in his face before too. Yeah. It might be a deliberate ploy to get into him a bit. He's starting to get a bit frustrated, I think. But in come Haints now. With Emsley Lodge to aim at now. Look at that. The, the Comes in. He aims at the Emsley Lodge. He's missed it. And he has missed. And that's their day at the moment. They did, mm. They've already put up on the scoreboard, by the way. Just a little <laughs> bit optimistic there. <laughs> Premature there. They popped it on the scoreboard as a goal. But not quite. So four points now, St. Joseph's. And they trail by 49 points, Newtown 8-5. Free kick to Goodwin. He's in everything, Goodwin. Well, there's a lot of frustration now for St. Joseph's because they're 49 points down there. Nothing's going right for them. And I actually saw that. Goodwin started it. Well, and that's yeah. what happens. When you come in and you yeah, try to square yeah. it up, you're, uh, you're the one that get pinged. Yeah, it's always right. the retaliator, yep. isn't it? Yep. So, come on. He's had a good day at the moment. He's yes, he's smashing handsome. He is. Yep. He's got the ball. Just chips it in short, looking for Bouch. Bouch has got it for Newtown. He's from Ballarat. Is he? Come on. Oh, I yeah. think he said about. No. Kicks it to McMahon. Matty Met McMahon. his parents too in the pub. I'm not surprised. Met most of them, yeah. <laughs> so McMahon goes wide. He's got Sheehan out wide. He's gone very wide. In fact, nearly went over the over the boundary, but no, Sheehan's got it. He Higgins, Higgins, the orange so. boots. Higgins with the orange boots just drives it down along the line just for a bit of yardage. And they're 49 points up here in Newtown. Yeah. And McCullough, Joey's don't look like he can go. No, McCool's about to come back on, which means they're just about to get their 18 people back on. That ground level, Fury picks it up, does well, gets tackled, umpire circling. Given plenty of time with the whistle. Well, what have we got? We've gone 21, so yeah, that's about right. I reckon about five minutes in when he when he uh, had the indiscretion. Ball comes out. Lockie Howe, I think, that he's tried to get through, but intercepted by uh, Newtown. Picked off on that occasion by Darcy Dement. Goes wide. Oh, good fist away there by Reese. Comes back to Timmy Arnell. Arnell dishes off the handball to Measures. Measures gets it off again. Oh, wrapped yeah, up in a tackle. Really. Tackling's been good Tack today. Yep, Newtown's mm. tackling has been fantastic. Everything they've done, fantastic. Mm. Intercepted by Capra at half back. So Capra, he'll try and drive it forward here for St. Joseph's. And can they get a goal before half time? St. Joe, he kicks it wide. Probably too wide, I would have thought. He found Polaris. Good grab. It, it was, was a good, good grab. Mark. He yep. made the kick look better than it was, I think. Yeah. He just kicks a high and up and under. Hopeful kick. Hanson's not going to grab the them. Dukes. Up go Newtown. They should be able to clear that comfortably. Goes out wide. It's a running. Uh, it was actually Baxter there, but yep. just ran out of bounds. And the umpire said, give it to me. 50 metres. 50 metre line. 49 point margin. 49 Joey's points. Joey's still haven't kicked a goal. How? Oh, a big bogan taps it over. He grabbed his jumper as he did it. And the umpire says, you can't do that. Listen on ballers. Uh, yeah. Big yeah. roar. About time, he said. I don't know if that's the reason, though, on ballers. Yeah, that's right, boys. So Lockie Howe. He's going to drive it forward. Just chips it again. Just high hoping. And a good mark Holkren. in the end from Holcren. Protected the space well. He then, did. He? Yeah. Actually a good mark. I, don't, yeah. I think it surprised. Yeah. Surprised, um... Bill Laurie. Yeah. Knew where the drop of the ball would be then. Green lights on, la lads. Green lights on. <laughs> I can see it. No, I can see that as well. <laughs> so McCooler can come back on. Yeah. And he does. So in comes Holtron looking for the first one for St. Joseph's. On their home deck, you'd think he'd Good be kicking kick. those. And he finally does. Reese Holtron. So they get their first goal at, at the... 23 and a half minute mark of the second quarter. And on comes their 18th person. Joey McCooler's back on. Will he go straight in the middle? Could be interesting. So 8-5, 53. They now lead um, Newtown leads St. Joseph's 1-4-10. And they're back to 18 on 18. I see if there's any reception from the Newtown boys as well when he goes near the ball next time. Yes. I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> so 43-point margin, 24 minutes gone for second quarter. Just, I know it took them ages to get there first, but they've got to get back to your back goals, Joey's. Palioris goes to ground after receiving the tap out. And the umpire says, we'll do all that again. The Moulet here in front of us. Bear Humphreys, oh. he's got the Moulet. 
<laughs> comes out the back. Goes across to Ash McCorkle. Goes long. Oh, Carson very rarely dropped that one. Has to go back and get it, but he can't do so. Did he get into his opponent's back? No, he didn't. Good work. Umpire said, you gone, son. You had a chance to get rid of it, and you didn't. Free kick. That was against Louis Highland, I reckon. Comes back. Thackeray's got it in the full-back position. He puts off. Oh. Hodgson drops oh, a mark. Oh, McBilly. Spoiled. He was spoiled by his, his own teammate. teammate. Comes back. Across to Tyler George. Good work. Comes back to McFarlane. McFarlane gets the crumbs. Gets around one. Gets around two. Gets around... No, and threw it out. Umpire missed that. Comes out to Capra. Capra's hands across to McVilly. McVilly by hand. Across to his teammate there in Aaron Baxter. Baxter, a little short kick to Forbes. To Forbes. Oh. Tough pocket where he's kicking this from. Don't be Miss McFarlane throwing that out. He tried to do too much. Yeah. McFarlane, didn't he? Is that a good quarter, though? Looks like quarter. It's a ripping quarter. It's a long kick needed here from the right. From a lefty, too. Yeah. Yeah. Lefty in that so pocket. Hard. Tough spot to kick this goal for Forbes. He's going to pop it up there, but I think he just... Put it out in the full, I reckon. Too far to the left. Put it way out on the left. Snuck in for a behind. He got a behind. Yeah, might have got a fortunate behind there. I think that was, yeah, closer to out in the full than a behind. 8.654, that puts Newtown 2, and they lead St. Joseph's 1 for 10. Kikat goes to Carson. He plays on, decides to switch it across goal. Dangerously! Oh, Jackman manages to get him out a bit of strife. Then goes down. Good mark to Tudor. Umpire's called play on. Didn't pay it. Didn't pay the mark. Ball comes out the back. Picked up by Higgins. Up and under kick. Bring in rain, that one. In line. Good work there. Who is that crashing through? Is it McCorkle? I think so. Was too. Trying to, goes back and gets it a second time. Dishes off the handball. Goes to Corey. He's around the body. Mark to measures. Measures off a step. Goes quickly to his teammate. I, I reckon that's Timmy Arnell. Has a bounce. Decides to take on his opponent. Then goes, whoa. How many steps? Right on the siren. It says St. Joseph's in one half of football. One goal, 4-10. They trail Newtown. Eight goals, 6-54. Goal kickers, James? Yeah, we still got Forbes with two from the first quarter. George has uh, got in there with two now. McMahon's got one. McCorkle as well, so he's got two. And Bouch with one. Done well. For Joey's? And for Joey's, yeah, the single goal kicker in Hulkin. 